Welcome back to Safe Shoot. I've got my friend Conrad Everts, who's been with us. Well, we've been friends now, lifelong friends, for almost a day now, right? That's right. We had a wonderful lunch yesterday at the range, and it was great to learn all the insides of what you guys are up to. You know, one of the things that worried me, Conrad, when I'm out of the range, and in fact, anywhere I'm just generally shooting firearms, especially hunting, sometimes I'm worried about safety. And you've got a product that really takes that out of the equation. Any fears, isn't that right? Yeah, it's designed to reinforce safe gun handling practices. And, and like you, I've been in the hunting industry for a long time. I've filmed hunting shows in 30-some countries over the last 13 years. So I've seen it in the entire spectrum of safety. I feel as a hunter, to, to call myself a hunter, I have to be ethical and I have to be safe. It has to be paramount to my entire life philosophy. So the way Safe Shoot, the reason, the story behind Safe Shoot is the Israeli Defense Force. Uh, the CEO is a retired Brigadier General with the Israeli Defense Force. He saw too many tragedies with friendly fire. So they got together a team of primarily veterans of the IDF and they created a device that does not need a line of sight. It uses radio frequency rather than lasers. So it basically gives you x-ray vision. Inside this unit, it has a number of micro sensors, gyros, barometers, everything to give the data of not only the location from the GPS, but the attitude of the barrel. The idea is that when you head out into the field as a hunter, everybody has the unit, so obviously you need a place like a lodge or a cabin where we're all starting out together. All we have to do, you can do this completely asleep, having your coffee, you simply turn this on. As soon as this is on, all of the units automatically form a network and they're talking all day long. Now, why would I really need this? Isn't just a yellow or an orange vest, isn't that good enough? Absolutely, if you have x-ray vision. Oh, <laughs> x-ray vision, yeah, okay. Yeah, so simply, okay, so let's imagine this is the forest. Okay, all right. It's, uh, it's, it's and there's some bushes out there? Thick, deciduous forest, exactly. So, I'm looking out here, and yeah, probably the people have an orange vest, but maybe they're in a tree stand, maybe they're in a tower blind, and I can see this much of the vest, maybe. Maybe. The safe shoot knows all the data, and all day long it's talking. So out to 900 yards, if I inadvertently sweep one of my the members of my party, I'll get an unmistakable red light and a tone. That signals me, lower your muzzle, make a new plan, reevaluate the situation. Again, it's not designed to replace safe gun handling practices, but reinforce them. <laughs> now what about, I can see, let's say I, I have a farm and you know we buy three or four of them, or maybe I'm operating uh, in, in an environment. What about my neighbors? Do I have to get together with them and make sure that they pair up? Okay, so this was originally developed for military and police applications. So those units will be coded in case a bad guy gets one. Right? Right. The beauty of the hunting units is they'll all be coded the same. So if you and I are neighbors, we've both got, you know, 50 acres and we have adjacent plots. If you've started using this with your family and friends and I start using it with my family or friends or guests, clients, they'll all recognize each other. The, the other neat thing that the, the Israelis did is they, these are also repeaters. So while each unit can recognize a unit out to 900 meters, that meter, that one can communicate the location of another one that's five, six, seven hundred meters. So they're acting as repeaters all around. So you're going to end up with, you know, in an area where they're being used, you're going to end up with a large network. Well, that's amazing, Conrad. I, that's unbelievable, and that's all built in. Nothing special. I don't have to add on anything. No extra purchases. That's right. Yeah, no, you just, your neighbor's using them, I'm using them. Once it catches on as a trend, then they just, they work together. I know hanging out with the Israelis over the last couple of years, it makes me wish I was smart. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, one of the things I was thinking about, we've been talking to a lot of people from all over the country, and you know, Conrad and I, we hit it off pretty well because we're both interested in how the government can make our life a little bit better. But I got one idea for you in California. <laughs> While you're telling everybody not to do this or do that, you should make sure every hunter has a safe shoot because if you had the whole state using safe shoot, it'd be a lot safer place, wouldn't it? It would, absolutely. 
Well, thanks so much for being on our show today, Conrad. Thanks for the time. And folks, you guys need to learn more about SafeShoot. If you're not using it well, you might be risking more than, than just a few pennies. You'd be risking your life, right? That's right. It's like I say, because you have ABS on your car doesn't mean you're going to drive like a maniac, but it's nice to have anti-locking brakes. Absolutely. Conrad, thanks a lot for being on the show. Remember, folks, safe shoot.